Hello everyone. Let's see how to write a data frame into a CSV file using Spark and Scala along with write modes in Spark. In the previous video, we have seen how to read a CSV file in Spark. I will begin with creating an object in Scala. Let me name it write to CSV and initialize a main method inside the object. The first step is to create a Spark session. In my upcoming videos, I will script the creation of the Scala object and initializing Spark session and uh, writing spark.end at the end. I will keep them ready and I will start from the actual code itself as these steps are common to all of the sessions. For the purpose of this video, I will create some sample data. Let me create a data frame directly. Data frame in Spark and Scala can be created by using the sequence of rows. The first row contains So this is the sequence of data that we are going to use to create a data frame. In order to convert, convert this to a data frame, we can just use dot to df method in Scala. So in order for us to enable this method, we need to import implicits in Spark. So I will talk about the implicits in upcoming videos. But for this video, let, let us assume that we need to import Spark dot implicits in order to use to df method in Spark, which will con convert our data to a data frame. So let us print this data frame and see what will be displayed. You can see that it displayed four columns and the column names are randomly provided by Spark. I would like to give column names as well. The column names would be ID, name and DOB. Let me run it again. So now this is going to be our data which we'll be writing in a CSV file. So writing this data frame into a CSV file should be pretty straightforward. We can directly call data data frame writer object, which is data dot write dot CSV method on top of our data frame and we can provide the path here. So I'll provide the same path as our code. And the file name would be CSV write or CSV output. Output will be written to this path and just to make sure the data is being written correctly let us read this data from this path again and display it so reading is very similar to what we have seen in our previous video spark.read.csv should be able to help us and we have read the data and let us display what we have read so if you look at the code we are initializing some data manually and writing that data into a csv output location and again we are reading the data that is present in the csv output location into a data frame and displaying this data frame and one thing to notice here is that we are not displaying this data but instead we are displaying the data frame which is being written into our csv output so i'll try to run this You can see that this file csv output is created as a folder so instead of a file it created a folder and our csv file is present inside this folder as our data size is very less the csv file is written into a single path in some cases the data size would be huge and the data would be distributed across multiple files so the point to consider here is that whenever we provide a path to write the data from a data frame into any of the file formats let us say csv file format the the data frame writer will create a folder named whatever that we have provided inside the writer object and all our data will be created as a part files inside the folder now we are reading that csv output file and displaying it and we can now see that data is being displayed correctly but header is not displayed the reason being we are not writing header header which is this column names into the file that we are writing so in order to write that header we need to explicitly mention that this data frame contains header which is very similar to what we do while we are reading a csv file now i have provided the header and now i am trying to write this data into a csv file again so i am writing it into the same location and i am going to read this 
So if you write this as is, as the CSV output is already present, the write will be failed. So let us try to write this file with a header. The write is failed because the path is already exist. So in order to handle such scenarios, these scenarios where path already exist is very common in real world applications. So we need a way to handle these scenarios. So for that we go with using write modes in Spark. So there are five write modes in Spark which are very common to any of the data frame write, uh, write operations. You might be writing it into a CSV file or a JSON file or Spark format. The write modes are going to be the same in Spark. In order to specify the write mode, we have a command called mode. And inside the mode, we mention save mode equals the mode that we are going to use. I will use overwrite for now. If we use overwrite, the existing file will be overwritten. So in order to make us sure that the file is actually overwritten or not, let us change one ID in our data, which is I'll make four to five. So what this should do is when we are printing this data frame, it should show this data, not the older data. So let us try and check if this is getting loaded correctly. I'll talk about other write modes as well in a while. So now we can see that the header is written and the header is read into our data frame and it is displayed. So we know that when we are reading the file, we also need to set the header option. Now let me try to run and you can note one more thing that the number five is displayed instead of four because the older data which had four in the data is overwritten with this new file because we are using the save mode to be overwrite. I will also go through the other save modes available in Spark in a bit. So now let me try to run giving the header option equal to true so that our first line should be considered as a header for our data. So you can now see that data is being read correctly and we are able to read the file again and display the data correctly. This is how we are going to write a data frame into a CSV file in Spark. And we have seen that the data will be written in, inside a directory into multiple parts. And there is a way to write this CSV file directly into a CSV file. Instead of make, creating a directory, we can write it directly as a CSV file. So for that, we need to do some workaround and we need to do some manual implementation of that. I'll create a separate video on how to write the data frame into a single CSV file. If I explain that as well in the same video, the length of the video is going to increase. So I'll make it as a separate video. This is how we will be writing the a data frame into a CSV file. So I hope we are clear until now. And the next point of discussion for us is going to be the write modes in Spark. So the available write modes in Spark are one is overwrite, which we have seen right now, and the other one is append, and the other write mode is error if exists or error, and the finally one is ignore. So we have these four write modes in Spark. Now we have seen how overwrite is going to work in Spark, right? We have selected the save mode as overwrite, and we know what overwrite is going to do. Overwrite if the file is already exist or if the directory is already exist, it will recreate the directory. I mean, it will overwrite the existing data. It means that the older data will get deleted and new data will be inserted into the same place. And the second mode is going to be append. Let us try how append is going to work. Now we know that we already have the data which is one, two, three, and five. Now let me rename this with six, seven, eight and nine. I'll keep the same name just to make sure that we are appending the new data. I change the numbers to six, seven, eight and nine. So when we use append, the older data will remain as is and the new data, which is the remaining four rows will get appended to the existing data so that our new file contains eight rows instead of four rows. And let me try to run this. So this kind of approach 
or this kind of this mode this append mode is being used when when we are getting the incremental data in real time scenarios like for example if you are getting some log data and you are getting that data every minute or every hour so for one hour we get the data and we write into some location and for the next hour we get the data again and when we are writing to the same location we just append the records so that is called as incremental mode or the append mode so now we can see that we have our existing data which is 1 2 3 and 5 id numbers 1 2 3 and 5 and the new data is already appended which is 6 7 8 and 9 so that is how append mode is going to work when we are writing data in spark and these modes are going to remain same if we are writing into a csv file or parquet or json or any kind of file format using spark now the next mode is error if exist we have seen this already so when we try to write the file for the first time it displayed an error stating that the path already exists it means this is the default mode in spark so whenever you are going to write a write the data into any of the file formats so error is going to be the default mode now let me try to run this again so what should happen now is as this output location is already exist the job should ideally fail So you can see that we got the same error again path already exist and the other mode is ignore so in some scenarios if the path is already exist we don't want to throw an error but we wanted the job to pass through and ignore the write so which means that if we use the right save mode as ignore when we run this application or when we run this code it will look for the csv output folder if the folder is already exist it will not write any data and it will not throw any error as well it will just ignore the write process so now you can see that so the path is already exist so it did not write anything and you can see that data to be same as what we had earlier right if it had return any of the data we should only have this four rows but it has not written any data that's why we have older data as is if you have any doubt like it might be written again or not let me change it to 16 17 18 and 19 and try to run the same application and when we display the data we should only see the same records again we should not be able to seeing 16 17 18 19 because the write process should be ignored as the output file output directory is already exist see we are able to see the same data and the new id 16 17 18 19 are not written into this file so which means that the write process is ignored by spark so these are the four modes of saving data in spark whether it might might be write to a sql database or write inside a file or anything these modes are going to be the same in spark i hope now it is clear on how to write a data frame into a csv file as well as the write modes in spark in our next video we are going to see how to read and write data in json format if you like this video please hit on the like button and for more interesting videos on spark big data and data engineering along with the interviews subscribe to my channel